Oh yeah, I'm finally done. After about two years off and on of effort, I can now go over my finalized motor and propeller testing methodology, which I'm doing in this dedicated video so I don't have to numb your brains by recursively repeating the same techno babble every time I show the results of a thrust test. Recursion Labs. For science. After years conducting various tests with different levels of automation, I've decided to build a fully automated and easy to execute consistent test methodology that gives clear comparative performance data for a motor or propeller, eliminating as many variables as practically possible. Static thrust testing results will be different than what you'd see from a motor throwing an aircraft through the atmosphere, but it is sufficient to benchmark against other motor and propeller combinations. The first and most important variable to eliminate is the power source. A lot of tests I see performed use LiPos to power the thrust stand, and while they fully charge them between tests, many factors that can't be controlled will alter the results of each test. To solve this, I use a bench power supply that can maintain a constant voltage regardless of the current demand by the motor. For the tests, I will either use my large variable DC power supply, which alone can provide up to 50 amps of current, or individually calibrate the voltages of my smaller, easier to control power supplies to the dynamometer, and connect them in parallel as needed to provide up to 20 amps of current, which is perfect for testing smaller Motors. These tests can be done at different voltages to represent different cells or to test a range of voltages, like the start and end of a battery. Providing a constant voltage for all tests eliminates the variable voltage sag when using LiPos since we want to test propulsion systems and not batteries. With great power comes great responsibility. Next comes the tests themselves. I built a few versions of automation code with corresponding motor tests and restarted or tweaked the code iteratively until I came up with a reliable and consistent result set that provided all the data I needed. First, the motor is spun up to a set point starting at idle speeds, which is held for about two to five seconds. The sensors are read and recorded every 20 milliseconds and captures the motors spinning up as well as getting a ton of samples at the set point. Once completed, the motor is brought back to idle speed where it will be given enough time to cool down before moving on to the next set point. The motor speed is increased about 1% for each test with the idle cooldown time increasing as the RPM increases for each test. The testing is concluded at near 90% throttle to decrease the chance of the increased static load overheating motor windings and to make it a little bit more tolerable to have this thing constantly jump scare me that screams randomly near my head for over an hour. Once the testing is concluded, I have additional automation that takes all the test result data and compiles them into usable metrics. The code analyzes each motor test result, calculates the point where the set point has been reached, and collects an average of 60 samples of sensor data. The results are provided in a format that makes it easy for me to go through the data and compare motors and propellers directly against each other using different metrics. Now that all this has been completed, it should be easy for me to benchmark motors and propellers against one another for analysis. I've already completed a number of glorious tests, which hopefully I'll be able to go over with you soon. 